All right, y'all. I got a good one for you today. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to shoot this video in response to how to grease the uh, Harbor Freight towable backhoe. And here it is. I got my Harbor Freight towable backhoe. All right. And I got all the grease fittings here. I'm supposed to grease these pins right here. Um, I got the backhoe part facing in a different direction. But if I come around here, you can see. Where the grease goes in at, goes in that little fitting. And you're supposed to put grease in it until it fills up. And then you can see the grease go in. When it's or you see you have enough grease when it starts to, to what's the word for it? Uh starts to spit out the sides a little bit, like this. Like see this caked up right here. It's very important because you know I notice running this thing that if you run it long enough, it'll start to squeak a little bit. And that means those pins that go through here holding the boom and holding it all the way down, they're running metal to metal. And they go all the way down to the end of this thing. So every time you use it, you got to regrease it. I'd highly recommend it. If the pin breaks, you're out of business. It'll last you forever. If you treat it right, grease it. Make sure you have enough hydraulic fluid in it, which I need to do that today. And your oil and uh, you make sure your gas is clean all right so back to the video this grease gun second grease gun i've bought these uh I wa i'm responding to another youtube video i watched on how to um put some grease in these things actually i responded to the gentleman uh i don't have his name offhand but maybe he doesn't want anyone to know his name so i'm not gonna um I'm not gonna draw any light to it, but he has two videos out, and he's a really nice guy. He actually, uh, I sent him a message, and he's updated these already, right to where he's got a new pin that goes in it right now. Um, the reason I'm not knocking his video is because his video that he shared with me, well, all of us on YouTube is what helped me to be able to do this in the first place, how to put grease in it the first couple times. But what I noticed is, when you put grease in here, the grease gun is going to hold on to that fitting like a death grip. It's never going to want to let go. That's how this ended up getting broken. Because when you and I have and I've taken it back so many times to advance that they don't even want to see me no more. <laughs> so, just being honest. So um, I had to buy another one. So. The gentleman that shot the first shot the video and showed me these things uh, that I watched on how to grease this thing when I first bought it. Uh, I'm gonna actually go with his video and get the newer ones that he up that he suggested. The new ones, the the a new style of uh, needle fitting that he suggested that doesn't stick in there because these things will get bent, broken. The the grease gun won't release it. I literally the only way you can release it is to unscrew this and I found that if you take this off this piece off right here it'll release pressure from the hose part and then you'd be able to I was able to get this one out this would have had to go back to the store if I hadn't found that out I have bought five or six of these things trust me this one right here watch the man's second video he, he, he'll show you and uh, if I grease this thing again and I buy the ones that he suggests I'll do another video on it myself but I think between this video and his two videos of the new one he's using and, and this one right here you'll be good alright moving on I just wanted to um, and also in his video he talks about I believe it's the same man you got a fitting inside of this hole here and it's way down in there it's a fitting you see it right there you can actually see it there's one here and there's one there I don't know if you can see that hole when you stick this thing in here this fitting is gonna want to hold on to this thing like a death grip and you're gonna stick that in there and it's gonna click when you got it in you're gonna pump the grease gun you know you're gonna go pump 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 the grease gun and when you go to pull this the hose out you're gonna get a rude awakening it ain't gonna come out and it's gonna be stuck in there so far that you ain't gonna be able to do anything about it so what I did I took the end of a hammer 
I'm gonna try to hold this for you. I'm not gonna stick it in there now because I've already greased this enough to what I think it, it is. And I'm not gonna go into detail on that because I know it'll break. Because I've had to replace the top fitting that I got this thing stuck into. Because you'll try to put a little bit of oomph into it. And if you don't pull it straight out and fast and, and straight, which is not straight right now as you can tell. So what I did, I positioned this hammer and I put it around the end of this and I popped it out straight. One motion. Boom. Come right out. Do it that way, you will not break this fitting in here. Just you get the idea. It's not straight now because I can't hold the camera and hold this hose straight. The hose is kind of leaning. But when you straighten it out, position your hammer, boom, pop it out. Do the same thing at the bottom. Take the hammer in, stick it in there, boom, boom, pull it out, right? You'll be good to go on that. Then you won't have to be like me and go buy a whole bunch of fittings. Well, Harbor Freight had the fittings to go in there. And the way you get it out, you take an Allen key, just a little bit bigger than the hole, or that you, what, the, the fitting. And if you stick the Allen key in there, tight and turn the Allen key, it'll turn the screw out. That's a trick. Don't do it like that. It's the end of the world for you. You're done, you're done, you're done. It's over with. So uh, those are just a couple things I wanted to point out. And um, you might also want to have since this fitting never comes off once you put it up there once you put this on it never comes off you might want to get an extra hose order an extra hose if you don't do like the man did and get a new fitting which I'm probably gonna get you know just have a hose and have your needle on that hose stays on that hose all the time and then have another hose that has the fitting open like this then you can read then you can swap it out and uh, take it off and put your fitting with the needle up there. Like I said, the Harbor Freight Tobacco Backhoe is a nice machine, but I've seen people have problems um, with the the the, pin, the pins breaking. And if you put grease in it, when you swing this boom, and you start hearing a cranking sound, like a crank, like a door uh, a door that doesn't have any grease on the on the door jam. You know it needs to be grease, and um. Make sure you had the right amount of hydraulic oil in it. And certain people say that certain hydraulic fluid, fluid is uh, better than others for this thing. Uh, try Walmart. Walmart's got some hydraulic fluid. Um, the weight of it, I'll put. I'll, I don't have any uh, extra right now. I probably threw the jug away. Um, but I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll probably send a link to that uh, other gentleman. I apologize for his name. Uh, his YouTube video. Um, but you'll see it. Um, I, like I said, I don't want to do that because I don't know if, uh, I guess there's nothing wrong with sending a, a link to someone else's YouTube video from yours, but uh, I don't want to do that without his permission out of respect for him. But, um, you know, as far as the hydraulic oil, I can leave you a description on that. squeeze it like this that might have been what's wrong with my um my needle gun might have not been the problem might be it had some dirt in here or something like that I don't know but I'll see if I can fix it all right so what I realized I wish I knew this the other day I don't know this seems to be half my problem could have been my whole problem the other day because this needle no fluid wants to go through this needle. Um, I found out because once I backed off of it a little bit, I started getting grease coming through here. So that means it's coming. I loosen this up. Grease is coming through here. You see it on my finger, but it's not going through the holes. And this is a brand new needle. So this time I'm just not successful at using this needle. Um, so it's a bad needle altogether for real. Um, Maybe it had some dirt clogged in it, but like this, the other one was, it was the broken was the same problem. So I took it off and put this one on. So this one that really didn't have much use. It's just not passing the fluid through it. So, uh, but like I said, I've, I've greased this with this 
same type of needle from the same place in advance and I was successful even though it was hell but now it just doesn't want to work so I'm just going to let it be and order a new needle and I hope all this information um, helps you out on yours um, and like I said check out the other guy's video he's got a nice little needle there that uh, he came up with that seems to work better than this crap alright alright so I'm back again all this mess that you see is just mess that you see but what I wanted to show you is I got this I'm still working on this grease gun I went to uh, Advance Auto and I bought the uh, this in focus here it's the uh, PT performance tool grease gun needle nose adapter W five four two one six is the serial number or the model number I got it from Advance Auto in this case I still haven't figured out how to use this thing it's got three pieces got this piece which I don't know what goes on I know this oops I know this part here this piece here on this end screws into this part so we, I got that established alright so I screw that in there like so and then in the bottom here is the piece that goes on the fitting and I guess it fits on the fitting like so I don't I'm scared to put it up here because I hardly ever can get this stuff off of here <laughs> But uh, it, it 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 went up there. If I get it off of there, I don't know. But it went up there. I'm gonna see if I can get some grease. Oh, I got some grease. Finally, I got some grease out of this thing. <sighs> That'll work. You hear a little sign of relief. I'm like, wow, I got some grease coming out of here. Because I ain't really been able to get anything going. So let me go back here and grease this thing now. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I got four new joints right here. And I'm going to try to put some grease in all four of them. You can see I tried up at the top to no avail. So hopefully now I will be successful so uh, I'll pull this off and I'm just gonna try to squeeze some in here I might need to stand up I'll stick this on top in a little hole if I can never get it lined up with the hole see the other one would have broke by now just that little bit of movement the other cheap one I had would have broke. But this one, I'm getting some grease in there automatically. Yeah. I already see it coming out the back. That went in there. Now this one. went all the way through immediately see when you spend money on this thing this thing ain't cheap and I ain't gonna sit in here and uh, let it go bad and, and break without me getting my work out of it and that went through this thing right here jams does it nice and quick so out of the two days I've been messing with this thing trying to figure out the right setup yeah this thing's good highly recommend it there's a couple more actually I got well, 
That one don't have one. I guess you ain't got to worry about greasing that one. That one doesn't have a fitting. And I hope that one don't ever give me a problem. Somebody tell me why that one don't have a fitting. You watch this video. Everything else going where I needed to go. Fast. That one was a little dry. Now let's go down here and look at some more. Hmm. Got a little grease on my hands. Let me wipe this off somewhere. Yep, that one went through. All right, let's just keep going. Let's go to these two here. Two side by side. Let's see what happens. That went through. This one here. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go down here. Got one right there. Alright, that one was fine. See how quick I'm doing this? It's crazy, ain't it? And that one on that rim, that one gets moved the most. So make sure you put plenty of it on that one. And I got one last one over here. Got that one right there. And the only reason this one's taking me a second is because I can't see the hole that good. It's got some grease on it. There we go. Alright, that's all of them. I give this fitting right here an A+. I saw grease go through the hole thing. I don't know how I'm going to get it off here, but I'll figure that out later. It's Grind Time Media. I'm out.